How's it going? Welcome online learners. Need a smile? I'll share with you one of mine. But first I'll do my impression. I am your father. That's what I feel like with this on, like Darth Vader. But it's fun, it's okay. Oh wait, you're an online learner, so I could probably take this off for the video, because we're more than 10 feet apart. Woo! Hi, I'm Mr. Newbold. I just wanted to welcome you to, oh, there's another one. Can't be too safe right now. So, got to keep being safe. Ah, there we go. Hi, I'm Mr. Newbold. How's it going? So, uh, this is my classroom. Huh. And so, if we uh, get all protective and safe and wear masks and uh, stay at home when we're not feeling well or just want to be safe, um, then eventually we'll come back to class. And so, this is my classroom. I'm out in the portable NX4. And uh, so just wanted to do this little intro video to introduce you um, to my class there. And so some of the things that you might uh, be using is your Chrome tablets, a positive attitude, um, a notebook with lots of paper or print off our notes and, uh, and homework assignments, graph and calculator or use desmos.com, pencil eraser, print off guided notes, nice. And so, here we are, Canvas, woo! So just working on our radicals assignment right now, it'll be coming up soon. And uh, so just kinda wanted you to just see where I'm teaching at, uh, so you'll know when I'm Google meeting with you or chatting with you, that uh, you'll know where I am, which is kinda cool, right? There we go. All right, let's see here, so I'm gonna go ahead and Shit myself down here while we show you just to intro a few things here. And uh, so, again, welcome to our class, Math 3 with Mr. Newbold. So here we go. Here we go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google. And so if you haven't already done this and logged into our class already, it's, um, so it's www, oops, wrong keyboard, www.wsd. So, wsd.instructure, in fact, I don't even think there's a www, I think it's just wsd. That's it. So, wsd.instructure.com, and so that'll actually have you log in. So, maybe you haven't done it before, so I need to show you, right? I'm going to go in and log out. And so, you're going to do student login. It'll ask you to use your Google Chrome, and that'll be your username and password through Google with your school account. So I'll go ahead and do employee there. And so then, there we go. So you're gonna be doing uh, secondary math three or, uh, or statistics. I think I've got one or two online learner statistics. But secondary math three, there we go, which is uh, quite a few of you. And so you, <coughs> excuse me. I had some almonds before I made this video, so I gotta drink some water. Much better. Okay, so then, um, right now we're working on our disclosure and electronic signature. So even though you're learning at home, you want to get that signed by you and your parents. Awesome. Then the VARC assignment, and then tell me 10 things about yourself. Awesome. And then we'll be starting our solving and factoring there as well. So trying to kind of help you navigate through Canvas. Um, these are, uh, you can hit on the home button or modules that'll take you to the same screen. And so our electronic signature, there we go. So you're going to read through the, uh, dis the uh, disclosure um, page here that talks about everything. Having a calculator, getting uh, avoiding late work, printing things off. Nice. 50% uh, late, so, so try to keep up with us every day. Try to log in every day, just like you're in class. Because even though you're an online learner, you still definitely want to check in every day or every other day with our Math 3 class. So tests will be done at home for online learners. And I'll have to give you a password, so you have to email me and say, okay, I'm ready for the test, Newbold, give me the password. And so then I'll give you a password and change it, and then I'll change it as soon as I give it to you and get you logged in, then I'll have to change the password again. So, but we'll get through that, we'll get through it. Same with bell quizzes, or uh, just quizzes, 15% of the grade. Well, not sorry, bell quiz, just weekly quizzes. What's that, what's that? is what that is going to be. Our online signature page, so you're gonna put your name. 
And there we go. Uh, and then what class period you're in, because you're still in a period with me, aren't you? Is it seventh? I do have a lot of online learners in seventh period, maybe third, second, first, or if you're in statistics. And then you'll go ahead and uh, put yes, go ahead and read the disclosure, and then yes, I've done that. Then you'll push the next button, and then you'll put your parents, or they'll put their name and email and sign that they've read it. And then they'll go ahead and push, um, so then they'll push submit. Nice. Now, the part I forgot to tell you about is you're gonna have to do all that again. Oh, what? Yeah, you're gonna have to put take survey, right? So leave. So you actually have to do take survey and then fill it out again, read through the disclosure, fill everything out again. And then after you do all that a second time, then you can go to this question where it says true, right? True, I have um, read through everything and agree with the policies. And then you'll push submit quiz. And that'll get you your 15 points. Nice, there we go. And uh, so there, there we go. And then the next one will be the VARC assignment. And so again, let's practice on the VARC assignment correctly. You wanna scroll all the way to the bottom because that's what Parker told us to do because he had to take it twice. And then you'll go, it says preview, but yours actually says take survey. Take the quiz, take the survey. And then you'll go through the VARC assignment and learn about your learning style and what kind of learner you are. I wanna find out about house or apartment before visiting, I would plan showing the rooms and map of the area. Uh, maybe do a video of the property. Maybe even a description of the rooms and features. Right, so some you can click all three or four of them or maybe just one of them. So read through each one of these and decide which one is you. And after you do that, you can change them too as you need. Um, then you're gonna get your results. And so memorize your results or come back up here, scroll up here to read your results. So don't rush too fast through it. I've just done this several times this year that I'm trying to get you to the results really quick just to show you how it works. Okay, so then you clicked OK and it says here that I am a mild hands-on learner. Kinesthetic learner, 66410. So I'm gonna go down here, scroll down. That's just an example. And so we'll put in my 66410. You don't put those numbers. You put the ones you actually scored, right? You put the ones that you actually scored there. Awesome. And then you're gonna talk about what your learning preference is. And so in this case, mine said that I'm a mild kinesthetic hands-on learner. And so then I'll just copy and paste that to answer the two questions here. Try to keep scrolling down there. There we go. And then go to question three for what does VARC stand for? So a visual, uh, oral type of learner, reading, writing, and kinesthetic hands-on learning. And then you go ahead and submit the quiz and that's 15 more points for you. Woo! Nice. And it should say up here, it should say um, your score and how many that you got to 15 out of 15. Okay, then the next assignment will be doing a tell me 10 things about yourself. Awesome, so we'll go ahead and say, this should say take the quiz or take the survey, so click on that. And then you don't have to necessarily answer these specific questions, but you can, what's with one thing that uh, you wish to, that I would know about you? So just tell me something about yourself, your biggest dreams, uh, your where are your ancestors from? So basically you're just going to go ahead and tell Tell me things about you, right? Tell me things about you. And um, so like, uh, I like to play board games and card games, nice. Um, especially Magic the Gathering, because it's such a fun game. So tell me things about you. Maybe one or two or 10 things would be awesome so I get to know about you. Then you'll hit uh, submit that quiz, right? Then you'll hit submit that quiz. And then, so hit submit that quiz. And then you can jump into our first assignment already, which is boot camp day one, solving and factoring. So I made a little link here for you to click on. So this is the Google Drive link so that you can download the worksheet and print it off. And then you can write, write on it. And then after you, um, and so you can follow along with my video and uh, work on those problems. 
And if you want a blank sheet of paper, you can watch my notes video, and then you can watch my homework video, right? And so these videos, um, email me if they don't work, but they should work. Looks like they're working here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And, oh, yeah, uh, take so mask if off. you thanks want um, to that. Make, you smile make them larger, nice. like full Besides, screen, like, then you can do that, funny. which is so, awesome. Full screen, look at that smile. For you. And so I help you on Sometimes several like problems X. through the homework. Go ahead to number six. You might have to mess with your and settings or your Negative volume eight. or whatever it might be. Make sure Online it's learners. Unmuted. In class nice. learners. All learners. There Everybody go. Know, my students. And so there's the worksheet. And then when you're ready Good. to submit, you okay, can go so there where it says gonna say submit your quiz. And then you'll actually go through my video talks about this as well, my, uh, my, my two math videos. And we'll have videos on every assignment to help you. So number one, solve for x. Well, let's see, how to solve for x? I would add 12, so that would, from 21, so that would give me 33. Then I would, uh, 3x, I would divide by three, and that would give me um, 33 divided by three is 11. So then problem number one, I would find where x equals 11. All right, and so you're gonna go through, and, and these are all multiple choice options. You can't really guess because there's a million options to choose from. Look at all those options. There's even a scrolly bar of options. So definitely go through um, and uh, find all the correct answers there. And then when you're done, you go ahead and push the submit quiz. There you go. And the test will be similar and graphing assignments. Um, maybe we'll do a video about that Kami program that'll be cool to use so you can actually draw in here and submit that assignment. But I'll do a lot of multiple choice as well. Cool, there we go. All right, thanks for watching. It's nice to meet you and thanks for being an online learner. You can always Google Meet with me and I can help you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, also email me and uh, just really thankful for you to be in my class. So thanks so much and uh, thanks for joining Math 3 New Bold. Peace out, talk to you soon. Thanks for working hard at home. Bye.